Once your cluster is running and you've opened the built-in SQL shell, you can start interacting with your cluster's data. First, let's create a database. To do this, I'll use the create database statement. Let's also set this as the current database. Now when I create a table, it'll automatically be created under the crdb underscore uni database. With this create table statement, I'm creating a table called students, which has two columns, ID and name. I've specified that the values in the ID column need to have certain properties. First, the values in the ID column need to be the universally unique identifier data type or UUID. Next, I say this column is the primary key for the table, which specifies that the values must uniquely identify each row. The columns in the primary key constraint are used to create its primary index, which CockroachDB uses by default to access the table's data. And lastly, I specify that if a value is not provided for a row's ID, the default value is an auto-generated random UUID. Okay, let's run the statement. Great, the table students was created. To see the schema for the table, I can use the show create statement. And you can see here that the create statement column returns the SQL statement that I just used to create the table. Let's create another table. This time, I'm going to create a courses table with a composite primary key, meaning I'm going to pick multiple columns to be classified together as the table's primary key. The syntax for this is a little bit different from the previous table that had a single column primary key. Since there's a composite primary key for this table, I call it out at the end of the statement instead of when listing each column's properties. Now let's see the table schema. Great. And you can see here that there are in fact two columns that comprise the composite primary key. It's important to note that once a primary key is created, you cannot change it later. However, you can make other edits to the table without any downtime. To do this, use the alter table statement. If we look at the courses table schema again, we can see that a new column has been added called schedule. There it is, great. And that's how you create a database, create tables with primary key variations, view a table schema, and modify the schema of an existing table.